Welcome to the fourth Enview Composer tutorial. First, we want to open up our template file. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to view your web page in a web browser and also how to change a CSS file. First, to view your web page in a web browser, we're going to go up to File and select Browse Page. You first want to make sure that your website has been saved and then you can go to Browse Page. Once selecting Browse Page, you're going to get a dialog box the first time you do it. It's going to say that, are you okay with opening it into uh, this application? If you check the box, it won't come up again. As soon as you hit Browse Page, it'll open into your default web browser for your computer. Mine is Google Chrome. Here's our COM template. Notice that everything looks okay except for our side nav bar. The gray doesn't extend down to the bottom like we want it to. We need to fix this. So first, go ahead and minimize your web browser. Don't close out of it. We'll get back to it. To change this, we need to alter our CSS and how it views these links. To do that, we can go up to Tools and select CSS Editor. Once we're inside the CSS Editor, you'll notice that our main style sheet is here. And then if we click on the plus sign, we can see all of the different rules. We want to select the class rules side nav. We want to go over to our box. When we originally had done this, we changed the display to table header group. What that inadvertently did is selected the text just around there. When it expands it and puts it in a web browser, it doesn't format the text the way we want. So to switch this, we're going to change that from table header group to unspecified. You'll notice here that we have a, an end view glitch. This hasn't actually changed anything about our page as far as the width of this column, although it appears that it has here. Go ahead and select close. Now you can see that we need to save. So let's go ahead and save. Hit control S. Now we can bring back up our web browser. You can see here that nothing has changed. That's because it's looking at the old file that we had created. To show the new file, we can hit the F5 key on your keyboard. That will refresh the page. You'll notice now that it extends properly all the way down. The next part that we have to do is move our text back up to the top to complete this change. To do that, we're going to do it without using a CSS style. We're simply going to right click inside the cell and select the table cell properties. That will bring us up to the dialog box that we had in one of our first tutorials. This time though, instead of changing the table, we're going to change this particular cell. You can see here over on content alignment that we want to change the vertical and put a check mark box here and then change the middle to top. That will align the text to the top. If you want to hit apply, you can actually see what happens to your changes here before you actually hit OK. If you would need to make a different change, you could do so now and then hit OK. To view this finally, we want to save it and then again go down to our web browser. Now that we're in our web browser, again we hit the F5 key and that will refresh the page. If you've done so correctly, our text should now be at the top. Congratulations, you finished this tutorial.